Welcome to episode 10 of our Let's Play Championship Manager 0102 series on Boss United FM. We suffered huge disappointment at the end of the last video as we blew promotion on the final day, losing at home to Dagenham and Redbridge to allow Northwich to overtake us. We sold Paul Ellenders for Bradford for £850,000, money that we just couldn't turn down. It got us back into the black. However, most of this was put into the transfer budget, and I've spent some of it to refresh the squad. Several players are still here, but we have signed nine players over the summer, spending over £100,000. Paul Douglas is a young striker. He'll be back up and he'll be in the reserves for most of the season. Kevin Gibbons, another player on a free transfer. We brought him in on trial. He'll provide cover as the defensive midfielder. Mark Bailey, fullback from Northwich. He comes in and he'll be our first choice right back after Mark Clifford was released in the summer. Aaron Johnson, signed from Droylsden from the league below. Good attributes. I think he'll be quite a good player for us. He's got a good tackling, rating out of 20. Mike Basham, central defender from York. Player we've signed for £12,000. He was on the transfer list. Good solid player. Paul Cardham from Doncaster. He'll be our first choice defensive midfielder. Only 23 years of age, good attributes. He'll be a first-teamer. Big signing is Paul Hurst, a left-back from Rotherham. A guy in real life who actually went on to manage Boston United. But we've signed him for £60,000 from Rotherham. Striker Ryan Lowe has joined from Shrewsbury, where he scored 10 goals in 18 games in Division 3. I think he'll be starting alongside Jez Murphy, and maybe pushing Daryl Clare onto the bench. And then Peter Hopkins, a youngster recommended by my scout, can play anywhere down the middle, but probably will be a defender due to his tackling. We've also brought in a couple of lone players, centre-backs from high division clubs. But these are the players that left the club in July. We've also got rid of Jamie Cook and Mark Angel, our two wingers who never played a game for us last year. Ross Weatherston has joined Gainsborough. And Mark Monington has joined Angel at Cheltenham. Simon Rusk went through an agreed transfer from months ago and a sign for Aberdeen. This is the team today. So we're going to have Bastock in goal as normal. Mark Bailey comes in at right back. Paul Hurst at left back. And at centre back, Ryan Green and Mike Basham. Paul Carden will be our defensive midfielder, and in the midfield trio, Andrew Long keeps his place from the end of last season, alongside Mike Marsh and Aaron Johnson. We did suffer a couple of retirements in the summer, with Ken Charlery and Peter Costello both leaving the club unexpectedly. Up front, we're going for Jez Murphy and Ryan Lowe. James Gould, David Artell, Kevin Gibbons, Simon Webster and Daryl Clare are on the bench. Let's go to this match. First day of the season at home to Barrow. Hopefully we can kick off with three points. We're on the attack really early on but now they're going forward and they score. Waters puts them ahead on 13 minutes. Not the start we planned especially after the summer we've had. We've had a really good pre-season. And now they're two ahead. Looks like we're really struggling to get the ball in the back of the net. Let's have a look at our tactics. So we've got a few players on fives, especially at the back. So maybe make a few changes shortly but just going to have to see what we can do with the team out there for now. Well, let's make a change. We've got 20 minutes to go. We need to make something happen. 
Right, let's have a look. So Ryan Lowe's not had a good game. So let's get Daryl Clare out there. And I think we're probably going to have to take long off for Weverston. Like for like, but hopefully a bit of impetus to get us back in the game. But we're leaving it very, very late. I think too late. There we go. First day loss at home to Barrow. Just check our fixtures. So we've got Southend, Kidderminster, Woking and Runcorn to come. Then a local derby against Gainsborough. I think that's going to be the next game in this series. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.